So what is capture speed and how does it relate to distance control? Today I'm going to go over that and the signs behind both. Okay, so the first thing you have to understand in capture speed is what is one full revolution of a golf ball and how far does that equate to in distance? So if I start this black double line right here at the edge of this ruler and I let it roll for one full revolution, you'll notice that that comes to five and one quarter inches. So one full revolution of a golf ball is five and a quarter inches. Okay, so ideal capture speed, there's a couple things that have to happen. First of all, you got a hole that's four and a quarter inches and the time that the ball is traveling over the hole is 0 0.0 seconds. So within that time, you have to have more than half of this golf ball fall below the edge, the back edge of the hole so the ball can go in. Now, it might fall below the back edge, hit it, go up, and fall in. That's the maximum speed it can go in, which is about eight to nine revolutions per second. And since we know that one revolution of a golf ball is five and a quarter inches, that's going to equate to somewhere around 48 inches and or four feet beyond the hole. But ideal speed would be anywhere between one rev or just falling over the edge like this and then one revolution up to four revolutions per second. So uh, four revolutions a second, or, or I'm sorry, one revolution a second would be about one inch past the hole. It would yield that much speed. It would also fall in and land in the hole just before the center. Uh, you go to two revolutions a second, that comes out to somewhere right around here. Three and four would be 21 inches past the hole. So your ideal speed on a capture speed would be anywhere from just falling over the edge to four revolutions a second and would not yield you a distance more than 21 inches past the hole. More on that in a minute. Now, as you get into hole width, okay, obviously just falling in barely over the front edge yields the most amount of hole that you could utilize. As you get down to faster and faster speeds, that starts to shrink until where you're about four revolutions, you're at about two inches wide at the hole. So you can see that it four revolutions, you're coming into a spot that's about that big, of course, at just enough speed to get over the edge is about that big. Some people will like to die the ball into the hole, but that leaves you susceptible to inconsistencies in the grass. But again, four leaves you two inches of the hole to come into, so you kind of have to differentiate that uh, for what's better for you. Now, the reason that 21 inches past the hole is so important from a psychological aspect is almost anybody, regardless of the type of putter that they are, if they have some kind of ability with a putter, they can knock it in consistently from 21 inches or into the hole. Once they start to get out past that, they get up to six, seven, eight revolutions a second, which is 40 inches or more. You're out three and a half to four feet past the hole. Now what is determined as the oh shit factor starts to kick in where golfers know they should make it as short enough putt. But if they don't, they're really going to feel like they're about that big, especially if they're playing in front of their friends or for any amount of money or bragging rights. So practice. If you're going to be out practicing, try to control your distance so that the ball is rolling just over the front edge. Or if it misses, that you're not going any more than 21 inches past the hole. That's optimum capture speed of the hole and how it's going to help you in your distance control. Hey, everybody. Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.